Former World Bank Senior Counsel, Karen Hudds has been making a lot of noise lately, and she recently said something she's never said before. She said that a second species on Earth controls money and religion. Many people who have held positions to know things that the rest of us might not know have made some very shocking statements lately. For example, Paul Hellyer, former Canadian Minister of National Defence recently said that there are at least four known alien species that have been visiting Earth for thousands of years. I am aware that just because somebody says something does not mean that it's true, no matter what their background. At the same time, what she says corroborates with a lot of ancient historical facts, and modern-day disclosures of other strange phenomena, like UFOs, secret societies, and more. For someone like this to gain credibility as a World Bank whistleblower and then all of a sudden make a comment like this is quite shocking. Although, in her interview she did discredit the idea of extraterrestrials on the planet, which I definitely disagree with. There is an enormous amount of evidence out there to suggest we are not alone, and we have indeed been visited. She said. These countries are not monolithic, there are forces fighting the corruption and there are forces that have totally been co-opted, and the way they act is treasonous to the people in those countries. The group that's behind the network of control are the Jesuits, and there are also some groups behind them. One of these groups are hominids, they're not human beings. They are very smart, they are not creative, they are mathematical. They had a much stronger force in the earlier Ice Age. They have elongated skulls, they may produce offspring in mating with female humans, but that offspring is not fertile. We live in a world of secret societies and secrets and the information that ought to be public is not public. This quote is from the show that you can watch following a link below this video. Karen held her senior position at the World Bank for 12 years before deciding to blow the whistle on the World Bank and corruption within it. She studies law at Yale Law School and economics at the University of Amsterdam. She worked in the U.S. Export-Import Bank of the U.S. from 1980 to 1985 and in the legal department of the World Bank from 1986 to 2007. She established the Non-Governmental Organization Committee of the International Law Section of the American Bar Association and the Committee on Multilateralism and the Accountability of International Organizations of the American Branch of the International Law Association. These are shocking statements that come shortly after gaining attention for being a credible World Bank whistleblower, stating that the world is in a currency war, that the Federal Reserve continues to print money like crazy, and if they keep going at the pace they are on, other countries will no longer accept this currency. She has been exposing criminal corruption that takes place at the highest levels of financial institutions. In 1999, she reported the corrupt takeover of the second largest bank in the Philippines. She's exposed the collusion that takes place between financial institutions and various governments, and much much more. Keep in mind that the reality of many strange phenomenon has a large amount of proof to back it up, or at least be open to the possibility.